first wave feminism focused on a woman's right to vote. The main focus of second wave feminism was the major effort to pass the Equal Rights Amendment to the US Constitution, which ultimately failed. Some people describe third wave feminism as a response to that failure. But third wave feminism is basically a group of loonies that use International Women's Day to cry about perceived inequalities using the way that women were treated in the Stone Ages as a platform, in my opinion. You see, in order to have a cause that promotes equality, you kind of have to have inequalities to fight for, and we've come a long way. Every argument that has been put out there from the pay gap to equal treatment has been torn down repeatedly. All that's talked about these days are the struggles of women and anything that has to do with men is cheapened by new wave feminism. Let me tell you, male suicide rates are a real issue. The American Foundation of Suicide Prevention reports that 3.5 times more men than women will take their lives and that 7 out of 10 of these men are white and middle-aged. Men also account for four-fifths of homicides and are two-thirds more likely to be victims of robberies and non-domestic assaults. Studies have also shown that boys are commonly failed by the education system with males receiving the majority of D's and F's and they make up 80% of high school dropouts. Family courts favor mothers and as a result, a father's rights are put on the back burner or even taken away entirely. But who cares, right? Because white male privilege and feminism or something. Because of these notions of white male privilege and having a focus on women's only issues, men's issues are trivialized. If you bring these politically incorrect topics up, you're simply a misogynist or you're told that you're mansplaining. I'm not a social justice warrior. Gender politics aren't the first thing I think about in real life when I'm trying to raise a kid, work, get through school and put food on the table. I just think that it's really important to point out that this is one of those instances that the promotion of these social justice warrior issues is having a dangerous effect on our society. Men's issues are deliberately ignored to appeal to new social norms that are actually brought on by the false narrative that women are not treated equally to men. In my opinion, women's rights are being given far too much attention for phony reasoning. And it devalues men, and that comes at a dangerous cost, which just goes to show that new wave feminism truly is hazardous. For the Rebel.media, I'm Holly Nicholas. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.